Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Shelbel VSG here, and I am coming to you with my week 14 update. So let's just jump right into it. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on May 19th, 2014 with Dr. Aaron Baggs at Kaiser Northern California Richmond facility. My high weight recorded on February 27th, 2014 was 2000. <laughs> not 2000, was 267.7 pounds. My weight the day of surgery, May 19th, 2014, was 236.7 pounds. My weight last week at week 13 was 194.7 pounds, which is the same weight as it was week 12. And my weight this week for weight 14 was wait for it wait for it 187.4 pounds that is a 7.3 pound loss since last week that i'm sorry can i just say it one more time that is a 7.3 pound loss since last week since august 20th seven days ago um that is craziness so anyway that is before we get into the whys and hows that is a 49.3 pound loss since surgery on may 19th and it is a total loss of what 80 80.3 pounds since March 1st when I began the preoperative diet plan, um, nutrition plan. Is that right? 80 pounds. All right, so there you go. Um, seven, seven, whatever it was, I already forgot. Um, 7.3 pounds. So let's talk about that. That is my highest loss in one week ever. And that includes my first week since surgery. The highest loss I had seen before was seven pounds even. 7.3 is higher than any other week that I've had. And it's crazy. Um, so what did I do different? Or why do I think I had such a big loss? Okay, so first let's take a look. Week 12 I weighed in at 194.7 week 13 I weighed in at 194.7 I had completely zero pound loss zero pound gain was totally even and I don't remember if I made a video or not but I posted I think on my my weight loss surgery Facebook page I had been traveling I retain water like a crazy person when I fly um, I had eaten out, I had had alcohol, I was not eating appropriately, I went to a barbecue and ate a bunch of crap, I spent one Sunday, my whole meal plan was like leftover spinach artichoke, artichoke dip and crackers, the whole thing, so I was actually had anticipated that I would have a gain that week and was ready and willing to take full responsibility for it and suck it up and move on, um, but I somehow came out without a gain or a loss and was like woo i'll take it so i think that this week we can attribute some of it to losing some of the um water weight from traveling although i'm not really sure because i got back on saturday and i weighed in on wednesday and that's usually enough time to sort of get rid of the water weight um so what did i do different this week well I went and I followed what my plan said. I stopped drinking the Click Mocha protein drink for breakfast. It's delicious and I really love it, but my plan really does say no protein shakes or anything. And since I had my week 12 uh, post-op class, I've been really trying to get back into all of those habits and really go by what they've said. So I knocked that drink out for the most part. I think the first couple days of this week I might have had some and then I stopped drinking it. They just want us to eat real food. And so I decided, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I ate paleo for a pretty long time, um, for a while, when, way before I had the surgery. And um, for those not familiar, paleo is a lot of clean eating. And what clean eating truly means is as little processed food as possible, really none. Um, and it's a dietary lifestyle that's very high in protein. It's also very high in fat and very low in carbs. So you don't eat um, 
grains at all and you don't depending on how you're going with it really eat like even potatoes sweet potatoes are usually okay um but you would never eat like packaged food and you wouldn't eat or drink a protein shake um i still would eat cheese but i would try to get the least processed most natural cheese possible i did not give up dairy some people who eat paleo do give up dairy i didn't um but you packaged food would be out nothing processed packaged no 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 um and so i just sort of decided that i was going to kind of go back to that because that's what my plan says they don't want you to eat the packaged stuff they don't want you to drink the protein shakes or eat the protein bars they want you to eat real food and get your nutrients and things from that so that's what i decided to do and this week i really tried to get back on that um which is i'm not saying i'm never going to drink that click protein because i really like it and it has caffeine in it and I um, have two full canisters of it here maybe one day I'll do a giveaway and give one away but I did try and go back to eating real food so that's one thing I did so let's take a look at my fitness pal for example um, and I'm on there as uh, what is my fitness pal healthier shell 44 if you wanted to add me I update pretty much try and do every day I've got an 86 day streak going um, but for example I ate come on. Oh, come on. Monday for breakfast I had a little bit of smoked salmon with some cream cheese and avocado for breakfast I had some Trader Joe's fully cooked turkey meatballs and a little bit of marinara for lunch and I had a Whole Foods um, salmon patty they make them there they're not packaged or frozen or anything they're there in the meat department um and some trader joe well, actually it was the whole foods no i'm sorry it was paradise market which is kind of like a whole foods but less expensive um tzatziki sauce and that's what i ate that day and i had an iso pure um drink one of the eight ounce grape frost ones so i really tried i mean there was another day friday i had some leftover flank steak and an egg for breakfast part of an egg i didn't finish it um i had smoked salmon avocado cream cheese for lunch and mushrooms peppers and filet mignon for dinner that filet was delicious and it lasted me dinner dinner and then breakfast again and so i just really have been cooking at home eating real food um i'm trying to see if i there were two days i think i had the click thursday and i think the day before um and then i also so i'm also not supposed to snack but i did make early on in the week some banana pudding because I just really wanted it and it was in my cabinet mocking me from forever ago so I made some fat-free sugar-free banana pudding and I think it makes two cups or whatever so it, I didn't even finish it all I had a little bit every night with a little bit of protein granola as a snack I'm not really supposed to snack but um, my sleeve seems obviously when I eat real food it i can't eat as much of it i can't eat as much steak as i could drink of a protein shake so my calories were pretty low so i didn't mind adding in a snack in the evening to bump up my calories on the lower calorie days clearly that worked okay sunday i went um out shopping and like forgot to eat all day long because i was out and everything and so i ate a little bit um we went my friend and i to see nine inch nails and I drank alcohol and I ate out there and then I think I might have come home and eaten something so that wasn't a super good food day although at the concert I did find it was like an organic slash kind of vegan but they had meat items on the menu as well place that did a, a pork and vegetable rice bowl so I asked them if I could get that without the rice and it was like a shredded pork with some yams and mushrooms and so that's what i got no rice um and i felt so bad because they gave me this huge portion i thought it would be little usually a rice bowl it's all rice and then a little bit of topping so i figured they'd just give me a little bit of toppings but they gave me a huge bowl of it and i was like oh i'm never gonna eat all this and i threw so much of it away um and so 
But for the most part, I really was just eating real food. I did not exercise. I slacked like a crazy person this week. I went on one very long five mile walk on last Thursday morning, so a week from tomorrow, and that is the only exercise that I did all week. Maybe I walked last Wednesday, I don't remember, but it would have been after I weighed in anyway. Um, so, or no, I guess it would have been before. So I don't know if I walked last Wednesday, but that's it. I totally slacked on the exercise. I've been doing a bunch of crap around my house and I was really busy with other stuff and I just got no exercise in. Um, my water has not been great, which is really ironic. I was running this water challenge and I don't know if it's because nobody was holding me accountable because I was running it, um, but I never did better on my water during the entire challenge, which is sort of a disappointment because it's the whole reason I wanted to do a water challenge, but whatever. That's my own fault. I can hold myself accountable. I shouldn't rely on somebody else. So my water has been okay, um, but I'm still, I don't know that I'm getting in like 70 ounces or even 64 Um but I've been focusing on it more the last couple days. And now I kind of have like a certain amount that I try and drink before I even get to work because I eat breakfast at work and everything. So I try and get that in before I get to work. Then I eat breakfast. Then I try and get in a certain amount before lunch. And that's working pretty well because um, I'll just hold off on eating until I've finished that amount of water. So really, I can only say the reason I think I've lost 7.3, I just want to say it again, um, pounds this week is because I went back to eating real food. I stopped eating, um, I didn't eat as really, I ate the cream cheese, but I wasn't eating cheese. Um, I mean, I had like some condiments and stuff like that, but even when I did the paleo, I didn't ever branch out so far that I made my own um ketchup and mayo actually I did make ketchup once mayo and stuff like that but I also buy like the tartar sauce that I have is very all natural it's just a matter of looking at the ingredients and buying the most natural things possible um I don't really purchase anything at this point that has ingredients I can't pronounce um and I try and purchase things with as few ingredients as possible the one exception is I'm still eating my popsicles sugar-free popsicles sometimes because that helps with the water intake but that's the only thing I can really attribute is going back to the clean eating. Um, and I mean really clean eating. Fruit, or not fruits, but meat, protein first. Protein, protein, protein. And then some veggies if I can get it. And nothing that's coming out of a package. And nothing, you know, nothing like that. Just as clean as possible. And it helps me feel great. I've been getting... Um, my sleep has been okay. It's a little bit messed up since Sunday, which is when Nine Inch Nails was. I just got home super late and couldn't sleep. And then, actually, I guess since Saturday, because we had a big earthquake that woke me up uh, in the middle of the night at 3.20. And, um, yeah, so I don't know what it was, but I'm really happy, and I hope it continues. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I had a great non-scale victory in that I went to Victoria's Secret, and I had been over at H&M trying on some dresses because I needed a couple of work outfits because mine are just ridiculous. And I'm about to enter uh, what's called campaign season for my job. And I go around and have to do all of this public speaking with government employees, um, municipal government employees and some federal government employees and some state and um, host trainings and things like that. And I just needed some clothes because mine were just silly. And... Um, I tried on this one dress and I took a picture of it and I realized I needed to buy new bras. So I went, Victoria's Secret was right across the way and I went over and I walked in and I was really nervous because I haven't been able to fit into Victoria's Secret bras in a long time and I said that to the girl and was like, what's your biggest size? And she told me and I said, okay, well, I have no idea what size I am. And she measured me on the outside of my clothes and got me the little box full of that size bras and I put them in and I called her back into the dressing room once I had one on and was like, I don't know, does this fit right? Because I just don't know. And she said, no, those are way too big for you. So she went and got, and at this point she had also brought me the band extenders because she had measured me 
at a larger size and thought maybe I would need them. So she was like, those are way too big for you. And there's no way you need these band extenders. And so she brought me the smaller sizes and I got a few bras there and that was really exciting. And also some very cute undies. Um, and that was exciting because that was on, if for any of you who watched the video I made of the things I was looking forward to when I was no longer obese, shopping for cute under things was on there. Um, and so I was very excited about that. And then also, um, there was that. And I don't know if there was anything else. Um, I did talk to my therapist on Monday and something she, and I, what happened was I was telling her about going to Victoria's Secret and how surprised I was after I left, I was on my way home and I, um, realized that I had called this woman, that well, this younger lady, she was probably 20, early 20s, very fit and cute and everything, into the dressing room with me while I was just wearing a bra and some jeans. Now, you guys have to understand that for the past however many years, many, many years, there's no way I would call anybody into a dressing room. I've gone shopping and wouldn't even let my mom in the dressing room with me. And I had this girl come in and didn't even think anything of it. Like I just had her come in and she helped me out and then she left. And later I realized that it wasn't even like, it didn't even cross my mind. And it's not like I think that my body is stellar. I mean, clearly I have scars. I can already see a little bit of the loose skin thing happening with my stomach, just the way it's kind of crinkling a little bit and there's, you know, stretch marks from before and whatnot, but I had no embarrassment or shame or anything. I just needed her to help me with the bra and that was my priority. But it was really um, mind blowing because, mostly because I didn't even think about it at the time. I thought about it later. And this led to a very interesting conversation with my therapist um, about a whole host of things, some of which I'm probably gonna go into in a later video that have to do with people who aren't used to our changes after surgery and how they perceive our personality changes as a negative when in fact they're not um it's just people aren't used to the quote unquote new us um but what she had said towards the end of this conversation and right near the end of my session was michelle you're coming out of hiding and she said it and i thought about it for a second and i said i think that you're right and all of a sudden I just started to cry because I have been hiding for so long. My body, um, even like my personality in some ways, um, because I've never felt like good enough and I've never felt like, um, I don't know, I've never wanted to be the center of attention. I've felt really uncomfortable in my body. I haven't wanted to be in pictures, all kinds of things. And for the first time in years, I mean, so many years, I'm not feeling that way as much. I'm feeling okay with things. Like I said, I don't think that I'm perfect. My body's not perfect. I still have a long way to go. Now there's weird things that are happening. My arms are horrible, you know, all kinds of other stuff. My hair is falling out by the handful in the shower. I feel like I look tired all the time. Like there's all kinds of other things that are going on or whatever, but none of that like matters as much as it did when I was a, you know, very heavy person and felt invisible all the time. And I kind of talked about that before. Um, so that was really eye opening and moving for me was to have her say that. And I said, yeah, you know, I think you're right. I think I am coming out of hiding. And I said, and I'm not really sure what exactly that means. And she laughed and she said, it means the world better watch out. And so that was really funny and, um, encouraging and really great. So I want to go into more of the stuff my therapist and I have been talking about regarding the weight loss loss surgery, but I'm already at 20 minutes. I don't even know how that happened. So I'm going to sign off for now and hope everybody has a good night and a good week. And I will talk to you later. All right. Bye.